In this class, we are going to learn how to configure a connection in Oracle Integration 3 instance for one more technology adapter that is for FTP. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using FTP adapter with Oracle Integration 3 while practicing any of the classes in this course for FTP adapter. If you are stuck somewhere, you can have a look at this documentation in order to troubleshoot or for configuring the connection or for consuming this connection at any invocation point in your integration implementation. So I will provide the link for this documentation in the description. You can check this document for more details. Now without wasting much time, let's begin with our hands on. So we need to first of all navigate to the connections under the design in, in integration 3 instance. Click on the create button on the right top corner. Now here we need to search for the FTP. If you are creating for FTP or SFTP, in both the cases you have to select FTP adapter only. Now here I am going to name this as demo FTP con. And the role I am selecting invoke as it is not allowing me to select any other roles as we can use such kind of FTP adapters only at the invocation point, not at the time of trigger. Click on create. So here we are going to make use of the file server which comes with integration. The navigation I have already shown in my previous class that is we need to go to settings and we need to go to file server. Click on settings. When you click on the settings you will land into this page wherein you will get the IP address, port and you need to populate username and password. Username and password you can provide with which you have logged in into your integration instance. Now I will quickly populate those details. I have populated all the details for my FTP server which comes with the integration that is the file server. We need to provide the host or the IP address which we will get from the settings. Then we need to provide the port that is you will get over here the port information. Now if you scroll down you need to expand these optional properties and you have to select this as SFTP because we are making use of SFTP connection. The file server which comes with the integration 3 instance is a SFTP server. Now in the security policy we need to provide the username and the password with which you have used to log into your integration instance. Once you provide all the details you need to click on the test and then you will get a pop up in that again you have to click on the test and once successfully tested then you have to click on the save button. So once you do all the things you will see the status change to configured. Just make sure when you create this file server, you have to go to your respective user and you need to enable the flag which we had discussed in our previous class that is under the configure users. You need to select your appropriate user, click on edit and the flag what you see over here, it should be enabled and you have to provide the default path. By default Oracle will provide the path which will end with your username or the email ID with which you have logged into your integration instance. Just see that the enable flag is active else you won't be able to make the connection successful. So like this we can create a FTP connection in Oracle integration 3 instance. In our next class we will see how we can make use of this connection and read the file, write the file, how we can read the file from FTP server, how we can write a file into a FTP server those things we will learn.